Hey Team Marshall, I just wanted to share real quick some Facebook party tips with you today. Um, when you are doing a Facebook party, the best way to set that up is to actually go in and create an event for the Facebook party. I know some people have suggested and also do use uh, Facebook groups for parties, but I highly suggest the Facebook event. Um, and I'm just going to go over quickly with why you want to use the event and what type of event to do. So when you're setting up your Facebook event, what you want to do is set up a private event. Now, the difference between a private event and a public Facebook event is with a private event, the, fa the guest can actually RSVP. Now, with a public event, it says interested, going, and invited. So they can click that they're interested, but you don't know if they're coming or not. Um, with the uh, private event, you know, limit your guests to 50, 40 to 50 guests. Um, make sure you let your hostess know that. Limit your guests to 40 to 50 so that it feels um, it feels like they're invited, like the guests are special. Um, don't have them invite 400 people. That's not, um, you know, that's not a relationship. That's just inviting everyone on your friends list. Um, so with the private Facebook event, you will know how many were invited and how many are going. Um, also, the huge difference between the two is that a public event, when they go to the main page of the public event, it's just showing, the, the home page is just showing about the event. They have to actually click a separate option called discussion to be able to see your posts. Um, with the private Facebook event, when they go to your event, they're going to see your posts right there in front of them. That is a huge difference. So if you're using a public Facebook event and you're not getting any response, chances are it's because they're not seeing your posts. They're just seeing what the event is about. Um, and also, um, versus event versus group, uh, a group, you just people are just added, and they may not want to be there. We don't want people, um, you know, being a part of something they don't want to be. We want them to party with us. So with the event, they can be invited, but you'll know if they're coming or not. They have the option to RSVP or to say no, which is perfectly fine. That's what we want. Um, so those are just some quick tips, you know, for you guys and setting these up. And I know a lot of you party on Facebook, um, which is great. So these are just some tips to hopefully help you get some more interaction on Facebook. So if you have any questions or if you want me to actually show you these um, and the differences between the two, let me know. I would love to help more, but this is just... Um, one of the new things that Facebook is doing with some of their settings, so I just wanted to share this with you, and I hope it helps, and um, happy partying!